Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the scientist vacancies for NILET and ISRO examination. Before proceeding, these presentations are created by Devrit Arya. And if you want more information, you can visit our website www.gatelectures.com. So first of all, we will be discussing about the ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. It is an organization which is again uh, doing all the projects of India for space researches. Okay, so here we have the vacancy which is scientist engineer SC. Scientist engineer SC. Now this SC, do not confuse it with a category or a caste. It is not a caste or it is not a category. So it is the name of the post which is scientist engineer. Okay, so SC means scientist vacancy. So generally what happens is if the students which are from open category or general category, they see the word SC and they think that because it is a SC, so it, it should be for the students who are from SC, SC category. Okay. Now this post is ready to research and development activities for space applications. Now there are two major organizations. We have NASA is a organization which is National Aeronautical Space Administration, which is basically based on USA. There are further organizations in the different com uh, countries also, but in India, India ISRO is the major organization which is doing all the space researches. And this is an uh, entry for the scientist position uh, where the students who have ambitions or they have dreams to go into space research, they can apply for this vacancy. And the application for online registration is between 15 9 2017 to 5 10 2017, that is 15th of September to 10th of uh, to 5th of October. Now the time when we are I'm recording this video it is already 17th of September. So today already uh, this form already came two days back. So if you want to apply for this vacancy then you should do it as soon as possible and the total number of vacancies for computer science is 10. Now don't see that it is just a 10 num number of vacancies. 10 is enough to get to get selected. So if you really want to go into this organization then 10 vac vacancies are enough. You should apply for this. Sometimes what happens is because there are 5 or 10 vacancies. There are very few number of students who apply for such kind of vacancies. But uh, trust me, if you really believe in yourself, if you believe in your hard work and preparation, you can easily get into all these 10 vacancies. Now this ISRO offers a position of scientist engineer, which is a level 10 pay matrix. Level 10 pay matrix means it is a officer group A grade pay matrix, where your as a fresher, your salary will be 56,100 rupees per month. In addition to this, you will get a HRA, that is house allowance. And you are also going to get a TA that is transport allowance. Now, what is the eligibility eligibility criteria for this vacancies? So eligibility is you should have done BTEC or equivalent. Now this equivalent uh, qualification criteria generally confuses a lot of students. So now here in this PPTs or here in this slide, I'm going to answer what is this equivalent criteria. But then here they are saying that you should have done BTEC or equivalent with at least 65% plus marks or CGPA which is 6.84 or more than 6.84. Now this equivalent criteria means there are other degrees which are considered equivalent to BTEC here. If you have done BE that is Bachelor of Engineering or BTEC or BSc in Engineering or Diploma plus BTEC that is the literal entry. Those students have done Diploma and then they have uh, taken admission in BTEC in the second year they are also eligible or BSc plus uh, BE with literal entry or diploma plus AMIE. See AMI is for the students who have done diploma and again this is also considered equivalent to BTEC or BSc plus AMIE. Now those students who have undergone any of the above courses and fulfill all the other terms, these conditions men mentioned the advertisement are eligible to apply. Eligible to apply. Okay. Now this is important. Now the next, uh, again here we are going to discuss about the LGBT uh, criteria. So the students who have done MC or MSc, they are not allowed to uh, ap appear for this examination or you can say they are not eligible in, in a better way I should say they are not eligible to appear for this ISRO examination. Now there are three disciplines when we say computer science. We have computer science, we have information science and we have information technologies. So these students get confused that why because it is a computer science vacancy so if you are from IT branch then you will not be able to apply but trust me if you are from any of these uh, following branches then you will be able to apply for this particular vacancy which is scientist engineer SC. Okay, now what is the age limit? Age limit should be 35 years at maximum as on this age. So those students who are less than 35 years, they can apply for this. Uh, for This is for uh, the central government servants, ex-servicemen or the person with disability are eligible for age relaxation as per the government orders. But 
general age limit is around 35 years so if still at the age of 32 or 35 years you'll be able to apply for this vacancies and the meritorious students which are having sports persons or you are having some sports uh, qualifications uh, let us suppose you have uh, represented india in india in various uh, international tournaments or international sports then you are eligible for relaxations as per the government of india rules or orders now how to apply so these steps are very very simple i just uh, used these steps just to give you a brief idea about this so i'm not going to explain each and every step in uh, f uh, further details i'm not going to show you how to apply but this is just simple steps that you can follow just go to the website which is isro.gov.in and find the career section in that website and now click on the corresponding headline related to this particular vacancy because there may be multiple vacancies they, they must have released to this particular vacancy cl click on the heading and click here click on the apply link now further then you, you can find all the other important instructions over the website itself okay now here what is the application fees so application fees is very less for isro they are only charging uh, 100 rupees for the scientist entry so this is a very very commendable step because they are taking very le less application fees uh, there are some other examinations which are even charging very high application fees but i feel that everyone all the application fees for the government exemption should be very very less which is should be around 100 rupees or less than 100 rupees then maximum number of students will be able to apply for these examinations now who are exempted for payment exempted means they don't have to pay anything to apply the all the women candidates they don't have to pay any fees to apply for isro or the students who are from sc category all the students are from S st category or if they are ex servicemen or the person with the disabilities now these candidates do not have to pay any kind of fees whatsoever now these candidates may take the payment online using the internet banking debit card or credit card or you can uh, pay offline by visiting the nearest sbi branch you can get your chalan and then you can uh, uh, fill f submit the fees and the candidates on clicking the make payment button will be redirected to the state bank multiple or payment options and so on that you can follow in the website itself okay now what are the documents that need to be sent now here you need to make sure that if you are non-government or state government or psu employee body or that means you're not uh, employed in any of the government organizations then there's no document no physical documents that need to be sent but these documents you have to produce when they are going to ask it so initially while applying for this vacancy you don't have to produce any relevant document okay now the candidates who are already working in some government organizations it can be any other organization apart from isro you have to take a non-objection certificate from the department and then you have to send this non-objection certificate to uh, isro and all the details is given here or you can also visit the isro website okay now what is the selection process the selection process consisting of uh, three steps the step number one is the return test the return test will be conducted on this particular date they have already given that this is on 24th of december one day before the christmas at uh, this is the venues these are the cities where the examination is going to be happen and the step two will be based on your performance of written test the candidates will be shortlisted for interview interview then you have to go for interview and the schedule and the venue of which will not will be notified according to uh, the dates okay and this final selection will be based on the uh, performance of the candidates in the interview see this is uh, they are to select the candidates who are going to appear for the interviews and the final selection will be based upon the interview itself and those who secure minimum of 60 percent marks in the interview will be eligible for consideration for employment in the selection panel so this is uh, i think this should be employment but let us say okay now next is what is the exam pattern for isro so exam pattern is uh, this is exam date you are going to have a total of 80 questions and total duration will be 90 minutes so this we have taken from the previous experiences or you can say from last three year examination papers we have seen this one so there's one and a half hour of uh, this examination of one and a half hour which is of three marks each when negative mark is minus one and if let us suppose you are giving a wrong answer then it is minus one if you are giving a right answer then it is zero marks and multiple choice this is this will be for multiple choice questions only uh, one of them is needs to be correct so we, we are not uh, going to have uh, multiple correct answers out of four options only one answer will be correct for this examination okay 
Now the next vacancy that we are going to discuss here is a NILET examination. NILET means National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. So NILET also released the vacancies for the scientist entries or scientific officer. Now there are two types of vacancies here. Number one is a scientist grade B and say a scientist B category, which is again in a grade A officer scale. And second is a scientific or uh, technical assistant A entry. Now this application dates are given as follows. So because this is September here, so only five days are left for application. So if you have not applied for this, you can still apply uh, for after viewing this video within the first five days of watching this one. Now, what is the number of vacancies? So number of vacancies here are more. It is 81 vacancies for the scientist B and 259 vacancies for the technical assistant A. So here we have more number of vacancies. Again, here this is a lower pay grade as compared to the scientist B. Similar of offers the position of scientist B category group A with level 10 of the pay matrix and where the minimum pay will be 56,100 rupees, which is same as the ISRO uh, payment, uh, ISRO, whatever ISRO is paying. Okay, and the second is a scientific technical assistant uh, A, which is having a six level pay grade, and they are having the enhanced salary of uh, thirty-five thousand four hundred rupees, which is the minimum basic pay thirty-five thousand four hundred rupees. Now, what is the eligibility for this? You should have at least sixty percent marks in your BTEC, and you should be from computer science discipline or computer engineering or information technology. You should be from any one of these. Next, what is the age limit? So the upper age limit should not exceed 30 years for the unreserved candidates. And for uh, the upper age limit, there's a election session which is offered for SC, ST, OBC or PWD candidates according to uh, the government criteria. So um, upper age limit in respect to the government servants, ex-servicemen and other special categories of person are flexible according to the orders issued by the central government. Okay. Next is how to apply. So to apply, just go to the recruitment uh, portal of the NILET, uh, NILET website that is nilet.gov.in. Click, uh, click on the corresponding post that is given. There are multiple posts that, that are given, multiple advertisements you will find over there. Click on the corresponding headline and scroll down through the advertisement to see the I agree button and then you can proceed to pay online. Okay. Now this you can follow according to your convenience. Next is application fees. Now here the application fees is more as compared to the ISRO. So in NILET they are having the application fees which is uh, approximately 800 rupees only. And the people who are uh, women or they are SCST candidates or they are PWD candidates, they are exempted from the payment. And candidates may take the payment online using the internet banking or the credit card or debit card facility. And the other payment modes are also available. If you don't have credit card, debit card, then you can pay using demand draft or pay order or check chalan. Here, this is not accepted. So this is not accepted here. Uh, any other means is not accepted. Only you have to do online payment for these examinations. Okay. Next is the checklist that you need to make sure. So before applying, you should make sure that you should have credit card, debit card or some bank details. Next is scanned image photograph along with the signature that you should have. And this image photograph should have a JPG size of less than 50 KB. So this is the critical criteria because sometimes they do not accept anything which is having a size more than 50 KB for as a photographs and scanned copy of single PDF file which should be less than 2 MB for essential educational qualification experience in if applicable date of birth caste certificate and other certificates which is given according to this. Okay. Now after this we are going to have what is the selection process for the selection process for the scientist B group A. This is the group A's officer entry. There should there will be a written examination which is followed by an interview, and the weight the age of uh, age of marks for written examination interview will be ratio of uh, 85 ratio 15. That means weightage it is actually it is weightage. So weightage means that first of all written examination will be given as 85 percent weightage. So whatever your marks or whatever maximum marks you can score here you can should score here because it is having 85 percent weightage. Now rest weightage is given to your interview that is around 15 percent. Let us suppose out of 100 you have scored 50 marks here and you have scored 10 marks here. Uh, that is uh, out of 100 80 you will be cal uh, you know out of this 50 marks only 85 percent will be evaluated for this and here out of this 10 marks only 15 percent will be evaluated to the final score. Okay. Here you, you can be having any number of marks. Okay. Next is uh, this written there is no interview for the technical assistant group B admissions or group B post there is no interview whatsoever. Now next is what is the exam pattern. So this examination shall be objective type 
and OMR based examination which is again an offline examination so in the previous case we have discussed about the ISRO now ISRO examination is an online examination but this NILIT examination is an offline examination and there will be a total of 120 objective type questions which is consisting of 60 questions from the computer science and 60 questions from the generic areas generic areas means which can be having aptitude and reasoning or other areas general studies and so on now every question will carry one marks and there will be negative marking that is uh, 0.25 marks for each wrong answer that is 1 by 4 here otherwise wise in most of the competitive examination it is 1 by 3 criteria that is plus 1 for positive marks and minus 0.33 for negative marks but here they are having 0.25 marks for the wrong answer the duration of the exam will be 3 hours okay and 4 hours for the visually handicapped candidates and the minimum percentage to qualify the written examination will be 50% for general category 40% for OBC and 30% for SC ST category that means out of 100 if you score more than 50% marks then you, you are going to qualify this examination okay now in the next PPT we will be discussing about the analysis of questions subject wise in all these examinations so first of all we have taken ISRO examination in the previous year that is, is this is ISRO 2017 paper analysis this is ISRO 2016 paper analysis ISRO 2015 paper 2014 2013 paper analysis this is a thorough analysis now make sure that they are asking questions from the uh, various subjects like sometimes they are also, also asking questions from gra graphics and image processing F but from the last two years they are not asking any question from gra graphics and image processing but before that they were asking one or two or three questions from these examinations okay now for OOPS and programming language they are asking some questions uh, mathematics linear programming they are asking some questions and uh, there are other subjects are also there subject software engineering compiler design these subjects are also there now see you can see, make sure here this most of these subjects are actually uh, most of the syllabus is actually just matching the syllabus of um, UGC net examination so if you are preparing for UGC net then it is a good opportunity for you I mean if you have done BTEC and MTEC and then you are preparing for UGC net then it is a good opportunity for you because there are some subjects which are not covered by gate candidates subjects like web technology software engineering computer graphics image processing C C++ and linear programming these subjects are not for gate examination so the student who are who have only done BTEC and they are not compatible with these subjects then they are uh, they are going to lag behind in this area because there are some questions which are asking which they are asking from this credit this area so if you have done phd or if you are preparing for UGC, then you are having more benefit for this kind of this examination okay now uh, in the previous ppt here you can see what is the number of question marks they are asking for each and every subject now here this the maximum number of questions they are asking from digital logic programming and data structures then theory of computation is an important subject computer architecture and computer networks is also an important subject these are the uh, subjects where they are giving maximum focus so how many subjects are there one two we have three four and five these are the five major subjects in which they are giving maximum uh, focus okay next is uh, the what we are offering so if you want to prepare for these examinations then we are offering video solutions of all the isro uh, uh, previous year questions. So we are taking, we have taken last 10, 11 years ISRO question papers, 11 years ISRO question paper plus last two years NILET previous year question paper, and we are calling it as a scientist package, which is this name is give, uh, given by Devrat Arya. So uh, we are calling it as scientist package because uh, this is for the students who are preparing for the scientist entry. And for every previous year question, we are going to have fully explained, well illustrated video solutions, and video solutions available for every question in the scientist package. I mean all the last 11 year you is through question papers we are going to have for each and every question we are going to have a video solution plus all the last nilet papers we are going to have video solution of each and every questions so which itself is huge number of videos approximately you can imagine it okay and there will be subject wise analysis of performance for each of these areas on the 13 previous year papers in uh, the scientist package that we are covering and we are also uh, these papers are solved by the gate user and topper and the faculties who are teaching this particular subject there are some faculties, faculties who, are, uh, who are teaching for the gate user and from a very long time and you can imagine the quality of content that we are going to provide for this so if you want to prepare for these exemptions then you can take video solution from us and uh, this will really going to help you in your preparation okay B then what is the schedule of the solution videos that we are going to provide 
so the solution videos will start will start providing the solution videos from 20th of september we have already solved around five question papers but this is that we have this we have given according to the dates so what you can do is take one question paper that means take isro 2017 question papers try to solve it and then after solving it try to match your answers with our video solutions or try to match your answers so wherever you feel that this particular answer is not correct watch the proper video explanation of this uh, that particular question so every question will be having a video solution okay now for example it is uh, isro 2015 examination solve it after preparing try to solve it after solving it if you're not able to score maximum marks then watch the video solutions so video solutions is really going to help you out in your preparation and in the same way we are going to, we are also solving the NILET examinations and this solution will be available on first 21st of october and 24th of october so, so till now we have already prepared the video solutions of these examinations but we are providing it according to the schedule of this to the students so, so that they should be able to maintain consistency okay and last so what is the cost of this package is this total papers in the package is total 13 papers and this is called a scientist pa package again and the fees is around 1200 rupees how to buy drop us a whatsapp message or call us on this particular number then we will be able to assist you with it now there are two ways how we can allocate it number one is we can give you google drive access where these question papers will be there you can download the question paper you can take a print out and you can try to solve it and then you can watch the video solutions of the question paper second way that we are planning is that that we are working on it so second way is that we are going to uh, upload it on our website so in our website that is a test platform so you can up attempt the same exact same question paper as a test online test and after watching the online test as soon as the result will be created so that re with that result you will be able to see the video solutions of each and every question so i feel this is the best way for preparing for this because you can prepare on your own make your own schedule prepare for this and then give the test that is isro 2017 question paper give the test of isro 2017 question paper now this will give you a thorough, an thorough analysis of your entire question paper as soon as the question paper is finished according to, to the all the total students who have applied for this you will find uh, what is your rank according among to those students and secondly you will find the video solution and the thorough analysis of each and every section that you have already attempted so this is the best way to prepare for this okay now if you have any doubts you can just email us at admin at the right gate lectures.com we'll try to help you out each and every student with uh, as much as we can and then uh, hope your preparation will be very good after this one okay thank you for watching this video and big thanks to devrit for creating these presentation slides